everyone, I hope all of you are doing well. For those who are new, I'm Rhythm and thank you so much for clicking on the video today. I've got a Zara haul for you today. I know guys, this was like a long uh, due haul. I've uh, tried shopping more of classic pieces like, you know guys, a coat or boots that I know are must-haves for a staple or capsule wardrobe as they say or probably pieces that I know are going to be classic and be in my wardrobe for a time. So if this is something that interests you, please stay tuned. Please don't forget to hit that like button. Please subscribe guys if you haven't already. That would really mean a lot to me. My IG handle is rhythm underscore me. If you wish to follow me on Instagram and I do appreciate DMs. I try responding to each and every one of you. So yep, I think that's enough of talking and uh, let's jump straight into the haul. So starting with my very first box, I would like to show you guys what I shop. And guys, this is the first piece. So I ordered myself a nice oversized hoodie, which I know I will have a lot of wear. Especially in the coming season, I got myself a size small and this retails for $35.90. I, I know for sure that all these pieces that I ordered uh, were on Black Friday sale, so there were some great deals. And the prices that I mentioned are in Canadian dollars. So guys, this is an oversized hoodie. It's it's a regular hoodie just for the fact that it's a beautiful fabric. And also it's uh, brushed from inside. That's what I really like. I think it makes it super cozy and uh, comfortable and it looks really nice. I ordered this color because I think beige goes with almost anything and everything. And it can be definitely uh, dressed up if you add some nice gold jewelry. I think that really complements this shade. And of course, you can always wear it at home with some nice joggers. This is a pretty regular sweatshirt, guys, but the fit is very nice. I got myself a size small because it's pretty oversized. And yep, that's the first thing. Second piece is, guys, are these awesome jogger pants or jogger trousers. I thought they were such a cool concept. I'll explain you guys the fabric. Um, it is like a hoodie fabric, but a way better version of it. It has an elasticated waist. It has some side pockets, which is like I suck up on uh, pants or joggers that have pockets. But guys, this is such a smart look. Also, it has a stitching line uh, running all the way down. Uh, these are pretty wide legged and I love the fit of it. You're going to see in the cutout. They look so smart and so chic and effortless. And it also has two back pockets. So uh, I think what they tried in calculating was a trouser in the form of a jogger. For somebody who wishes to wear something uh, casual but yet uh, smart looking, I think this is a perfect combination of a trouser and a jogger. Um, I love the way it falls. You can wear it with some nice hoodie or also you can dress it up like I have with a nice uh, t-shirt and some full leather blazer. I think that is quite the look and some trainers and I think it's such a chic outfit and you can definitely wear it out, even go out for nice shopping. It's comfortable yet smart. So these are the looks I prefer. Who wants to be in tight clothes and go out for shopping? At least not me. So next up is I think I should probably award this a blazer of the year or something. I saw it almost everywhere and I had to get my hands on and what better way uh, you know than a Black Friday deal on this one. Oh for those uh, joggers I ordered myself a size small and those run actually big so you might want to size down or uh, you know you might want to stay true to your size. So yeah coming to this blazer guys. This is the full leather blazer. I'm sure you must be so sick and tired of seeing this blazer. But believe me, the hype is so worth it. The, um, the fabric, this full leather is amazing. I think it's very soft. It looks quite uh, nice and high quality. It has nice padding on the shoulder. I did get myself a size medium and from $80, I think it had come down to $40. It's a regular two button up blazer. It has a nice slit at the back, which I really like. You can have a lot of outfits with this blazer. You can wear it over dress, over skirt, over pants. I mean, leather on leather, that's totally your call. I personally prefer uh, two different textures. I, For me, leather on leather is a bit too much. But of course, to each your own, if you love it, go ahead. He paired the previous jogger with this blazer and I really love the look. I thought it looked quite smart. And yep, that's pretty much it. Does come in another shade, a more like a minky, earthy tone shade. But uh, you know, if I'm trying a new style, I always prefer sticking to black because I feel you can never go wrong with black. So yeah, that was this. 
So I did order myself two blazers, which I would so appreciate if you can help me picking one because I am so confused. Oh, okay, let me put it in a hanger so that you guys can have a better look. So I did put them on a hanger and yeah, I bought both these uh, blazers on sale, but I'm so confused because one is more like stylish and one is more classic. So I would really appreciate if you guys can help me in the comment section below which one to keep and which one to return because I'm sure that I don't want to keep two black blazers. So talking about the first one guys, this is a belted blazer. I'm sure a try on will be a better judge for you guys as well. But this is a pretty long uh, blazer. It has a beautiful belt. It does not have any buttons. It's a belted blazer basically. And it has two pockets on the front. It has a very smart uh, back slit. I ordered myself a size small and a medium because I was quite desperate to get this one because um, I think all of you must be familiar with this brand called Mantico. I think they have all these premium quality fabrics and they are probably supplying to a lot of uh, brands. So I basically wanted to get more than the blazer. I wanted to get my hands on a Manteco blazer if I pronounced it correctly. And yep, uh, but now when I have it, I'm, I like the look. It's a classic blazer. But I'm just not sure when I compare it with the other one. Because the other one is more stylish and this is more classic. And also this retail for $219 and it had come down to $140 during the Black Friday sale. And this is the second blazer. It is oversized. It has some huge uh, collars and look at the sleeves. It has some balloon sleeves. Now this is where I'm confused. I should keep this. It has some uh, front pockets. Um, a button in the front this is actually more my style i feel i relate more but whenever if i ask somebody for a suggestion they prefer that so i thought why not to do an audience poll maybe that helps so yeah uh this is also a pretty long length and this also okay this does not have a slither at the back this originally retailed for $180 and it had come down to $99 i did get myself a size small because it's pretty oversized and yeah, that's pretty much about this blazer. The fabric and the finishing is also pretty good of this one. I'll just put both the blazers side by side so that you can have a look and probably help me decide which one to keep and which one to return. So yeah, guys, I don't know if that really helps, but yeah. So yeah, moving on to our third box. I did order myself two pairs of boots. I'm going to talk about the first one. I think since day one, i was in love with these boots i mean look at the finish look at the cut look at the style got myself a size 38 and these uh, patent uh, looking full leather uh, boots they are stunning but but i must tell you something it is a pain to put them on and a bigger pain to take them off they are so uncomfortable they look very smart once they're on but believe me god help you if you've put them on i don't know if there is a way out how you should take them off or i don't know i this is definitely not something which i got it right probably but these are definitely going back which i'm so sad because these were something i was so looking forward to what i really liked was the length they were not ankle, they were a little higher. So I thought something like this looks really nice with leggings and some oversized shirts or jackets. But I'm so sad because guys, oh, good luck. Seriously, good luck if you order these. And moving on, another pair of boots, which I'm so happy and no butts in it are the uh, long uh, over the knee high boots. So guys, these are over the knee high boots. I have uh, one over the knee high boots from Zara and believe me, they've been with me. Th those are actually suede, but uh, they lasted for about three years. I'm quite happy because I also bought them on sale. And also these one, I bought them on Black Friday sale. The fabric, the finishing, everything is fantastic. It's a it has really good feel. And once I wore it on, it wasn't falling or anything. It had a nice fitting to it. 
I also would like to show you guys the detail that it has. It has a very cute a golden line running over here and also the zip has a matching golden uh, you know accessory to it. So I mean overall it gives a very nice finish and also it looks very clean and classic. So that's what I really liked about this one. I wanted like such high pair of boots to be worn with those jumper dresses and also I feel they look so smart with uh, leggings and you know some tight skinny jeans. So yep that's pretty much it. From $100 I think it had come down to $70 so absolutely love these ones and keeping these for sure. That's it. That's pretty much it. What I have for the Zara haul today. I just bought it very basic stuff also because I am expecting Zara sale to be on soon and that's when I would really like to get my hands on few jumpers and you know stuff like that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the pieces that I picked and also I would appreciate uh, you know deciding between those two coats, between the oversized one or the belted one. So please don't forget to hit the like button. Please subscribe down below if you haven't already. That really means a lot to me. Till then, hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye and keep YouTubing. Bye. Bye.